of pigeons. Ugh, I wouldn't look in there if I were you. must have left this rag out when he cleaned the photomographs. I ought to tidy it up. Me being chased by a giant man-eating tortoise. I've never been so mildly afraid in all my life. What a tedious death that would have been. Gavin, my trusty manservant and I, in the Peruvian jungle. He's a cyclops. Strong as an ox, but terrible depth perception. Last year's trip to the centre of the earth. Got a lovely tan. Ha-ha! <laughs> My Stanley steam lift. It makes traversing these cumbersome stairs a breeze. Seems to be a little stuck. <laughs> Nasty pile of rubbish. Where's Gavin? He should be here to hand me my telegrams. Gigantic diamond? Sounds legitimate. Mm. I've been telegram spammed. <gasps> A message from Lord Arthwipe. Maybe he has news of an adventure. Sir, is that you? Good morning, Mr. Fidel. Ah, there you are, Gavin. Where have you been? I was just, uh, deflating the Zeppelin, sir. I did not hear you walk down the stairs. Did you sleep well? Unfortunately not. It was a restless night, embothered by some strange dreams. My mind craves adventure. And without it, I fear I'm going quite mad. It's been two months without the slightest expedition. I'm becoming a little worried. What shall I do if I can't do my adventurings? Do not fear, sir. There is an old Peruvian saying. The forest is full of trees. Hmm. Quite. My grandfather had a massive clock. My dear mother, I owe her so much. Approximately 12,000 pounds and a new gazebo. My turtle lamp. I don't know why I shelled out for it. Just some artifacts I picked up on my travels. My prized possession. An actual Tyrannosaur arm bone. 
I'm writing my autobiography. A fiddle here and there. It is a most gripping read, sir. A rather cheeky specimen. I shot my first yeti with that. Nearly lost my moustache in the process. A fossilized dinosaur egg. But which came first? Oh, there you are, Bertram. Good morning, dear heart. It's nearly ten o'clock. I hardly call that morning. Haven't you got some adventuring to do? Alas, no. I have been looking, but I just can't find any expeditions worthy of my talents. Well, if you don't find something to adventure soon, I shall require that you find yourself a proper job. It's not that easy, my dear. You can't merely go outside and find yourself in a world full of unimaginable creatures. Adventure strikes when you least expect it. That as may be. I am accustomed to certain standards, Bertram. Being respectable costs money. Your mother agrees with me. She has mentioned there is a very respectable position at Mr. Dullsworth Soap Company providing telegrammatic advertising. The hours are long and arduous and the work repetitive and uninteresting. But you would receive a steady income, Bertram. My, my, is that the, um, I really must be off. <gasps> Bertram, caviar doesn't just grow on trees. There, there, my dear. Don't cry. I'm sure there is an adventure just around. I'm sorry, dear. You have until the end of the day to find suitable employment, or I am calling Mr. Dullsworth. Oh, well, of course, my dear. Thank you, Bertram. Now, could you do me a favor? Um, well, I do have an appointment with Lord Arthwipe. For goodness sake, Bertram. I don't like you running errands for a dreadful man. It's just not becoming. Now then, can you take Foofy to the groomery for me? It's on Groom Street. I, uh, yes, of course, my dear. This is all very tiresome. I'm going to lie down. For some creature. Basket! Foofy! Foofy! Basket! What's the matter, Foofy? Hopefully that will keep him quiet for a while. It's lucky I have such spacious pockets. Is the bottle of gin half full or half empty? It's not in my pocket. The door is locked. What am I to do? Back in 1878, I managed to hunt down and kill the majestic rhino bird. could just reach my key. Yes. Be a good fellow and move this cabinet, Gavin. Certainly, sir. <laughs> Up to my knees in adventure in Africa, just before I discovered the world's shortest river. What a lovely day for a stroll. Why, there's hardly any drizzle at all. Hmm, there is a storm coming. Oh, yes. 
What a terrible little man. He never said sorry. Oh, I see. He's bemuddled our bags up. He's not foofy. Rude man. Excuse me. Rude man. Excuse me. Rude man. He's getting away. I see. This way, Gavin. This way, Gavin. We're catching him. Nearly got him. I said it's hard. My oranges! My lovely oranges! Ouch! Are you okay, sir? What's this? It appears to be... A nose. He must have dropped it in his haste to scurry off into the shadows. Evening, Barbara! Did you see a suspicious, shadowy little man run by, Potshots? I wish to return his bag. No, sir, I have not. You should ask that Sherlock Holmes, sir. He's a proper detective. You can find him in the Adventurers Club. Yes, yes, I know who he is. I'm quite the detective myself, you know. Blessed with a keen eye for detail. Let me have a look at that. Oh, look, a freak show is in town. Have you seen a short, shadowy, sinister-looking chap scurry by? No, I'm afraid I haven't. You squashed me oranges! Me lovely orangey oranges! What's a pickle we're in? Bertram Fiddle, leading Victorian explorator. Perhaps you've heard of me. Um, yes, yes, of course I have. Maybe you can help me. Are you a member of the Adventurers Club? Indeed I am, madam. How may I be of service? I'm investigating the ghastly murderings that have been happening, and I want to interview Sherlock Holmes, but he's a very difficult man to get hold of. They won't even allow women in this ridiculous, outdated, backwards club. It's 1884, not the Middle Ages. Quite. As it happens, I'm going to see Sherlock Holmes now. Perhaps I can ask for you. That would be most helpful. If you learn anything about the recent murderings, do tell. The, the Adventurers Club. The... Oh, good evening, Mr. Fiddles. The usual. Yes, please. One can never have enough tea. How do you do, Sir Grouchley? How do you think, Fiddle? Things haven't been the same since I lost my legs in Venice. Constant pain, Fiddle. Constant. Oh, I am sorry. That sounds terrible. You weren't there, man. You weren't there. I'm afraid, Mr. Fiddle, you are not permitted into the gold members area. It is for A-list adventurers only. I've never been so outraged. I need to see Sherlock Holmes. Mr. Holmes has asked expressly not to be disturbed as he is working on the dreadful case of Jeff the Murderer. I have my own case I want to talk to him about. I'm afraid, Mr. Fiddle, 
You are not permitted into the gold members area. Oh, porcupine canopies. A prickly aperitif. <laughs>